morning. I am in Tasmania. I'm heading off to Melbourne today. I got a 155, was it 55? 140 flight and it lands at two something. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'll be getting the sky bus over to Southern Cross. They will meet again. And my hotel is not near Southern Cross. Why? Because of the F1 this weekend, the hotel price has skyrocketed because they obviously know that when it comes to F1, every F1 event, people from all over the world, every continent, apart from Antarctica, will, will fly over to watch the event. Because of that, uh, the cheapest hotel, I, and, I, and I timed it really well. Like when I, when I looked through it, I'm just like, I got so fortunate here. <laughs> um, I found a hotel that was a hundred pounds a, a day, a night, which is still a lot, but the next cheapest one was like 200 pounds a night. So it was that high to the point where everything, even remotely close to Southern Cross, it was like an insane price. So I was kind of fortunate to get the price I did. The price for the hotel, the hotel I'm staying at is not near a train station. It's like a 15 minute walk from the nearest train station, which is not Southern Cross, but it's still somehow in the city. And it was so in high demand that they actually called me because I booked it on a buy now, pay at hotel. That's what I do most of the time nowadays. So they called me and they said, we can't hold your booking unless you pay for the first night. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> I don't want to pay double for the hotel, uh, for another hotel. So you know what? Yeah, let me just pay you for the first night, sorted. I was in Melbourne literally last week uh, in another hotel and I thought to myself, let me go and pay them the rest of the rest of the hotel fee and then and, and I'll sort that out. So I saw that lot sorted out last Thursday. So that's all sorted out now. But uh I got kind of fortunate because even though I'm paying hundred pounds a night for this hotel, which is the most expensive one I've paid for so far on this holiday, the next options were like so much more. I'm just like the only cheap options here are hostels and I don't it's because I edit. If I if I didn't make YouTube videos, I would stay in a hostel, but I'm not leaving my laptop with other people in the room. That's not happening. Too many cost issues there. Of hotels, I'm staying at Best Western Plus in Launceston. It's a nice hotel, uh, pretty good, pretty good service. Uh, they clean your room on request, so like you decide when they clean your room. You want it every day? Have it every day. You want it just on your first night or just on your last night? Do that. So you know, last night doesn't make any sense because you'll be out of there. But you get the point. You you control which nights they they clean your room. I think I think it's a pretty good service. Um, I'm getting a shuttle to the airport. They've got like it's not their shuttle, but they recommend a shuttle, and it's the uh, it's the main shuttle for the um, Launceston Airport. So it's like twenty five dollars and yeah, twenty five dollars per journey, which is pretty good, especially compared to Uber or taxi. They're quite like this, you know. Um, you can have these free of charge. I assume you keep these, uh, but you can borrow one of these things if you need them. You even a microwave, <laughs> an umbrella. That's pretty cool. They should have had a rain jackets on there. I would have definitely gotten that. Um, and you can purchase one of these things, which I think is uh, pretty cool. There you go. Three rooms, are, uh, room cleans upon request. It's a good hotel. Uh, I'm glad I stayed here. All these food options, but you have to pay for it, of course. It's not included in the booking, but uh, yeah, there's some good stuff in there. So yeah, good hotel overall. Um, plenty of space to swing around <laughs> yeah, i'm heading off to hopefully meet someone um I, I guarantee all of you maybe not all of you but every australian watching knows who i'm talking about but um i mean sorry every every afl fan watching who watches youtube will know this person um whether i actually meet them or not depends what time i get to the ground because i gotta get to the airport hopefully the plane's not delayed it's jetstar so they normally try and get it out on time anyway um sky bus to uh southern cross a train, a few stops to the station, 15 minute walk to the hotel from the station, different station, of course, the Southern Cross. And then I got to get to the G. I feel like I, I got like three hours to do that. I think I'll be fine. I'll be fine. And then if I meet this person, then I'll be watching the game. Then I come home and that's the end of the vlog. Then I got to edit it and I got an early wake up on Friday because I'm going on a day tour because there's no Melbourne game uh, in the AFL on Friday. On Saturday, I'll be at the Melbourne, uh, Hawthorne Melbourne game. Hopefully we can win that one. <laughs> but we lost to Essendon last week, so I'm not holding uh, any high hopes for that one. You know how lucky I just got, right? There's two flights in Melbourne there. I'm on the Jetstar one. That one's fine, it's right there. The Qantas one, the, they had to turn back. I don't know why, they didn't say why, but they just announced that the Qantas plane had to turn back to Melbourne. It took off, it went back into Melbourne, made a U-turn, 
for whatever reason. So now whoever's on that flight has to wait. And if they got if they got connections, then they're pretty much screwed. That could have been me, but obviously they went for the cheaper option, which is Jetstar, and they have been reliable. By the way, I know that says arrivals, but I mean like there is a flight, like that flight coming in, it's got a departure as well, back to Melbourne. So the people waiting here for that Qantas flight, they're gonna have to wait longer now. Damn. I would know all about dodgy flight delays and even missing flights. If you don't know, watch my flight home from Australia last year. That whole vlog, I was so stressed out. Here's a nice little thing. Say the Tasmanian Devil was very, uh, very much endangered. I did not bring any cash, so here's the reason why I could have. I thought I said the S word. <laughs> delayed half an hour because about 11 people I think in the same group they all turned up late and I'm just like isn't this Jetstar isn't this the airline that <laughs> closes the gate half an hour early how have people turned up 15 minutes after the flight time and still got on I'm not complaining like, like if that's me that's the late I'm happy to be let on the plane but I'm just like on Jetstar are really strict ones I was very confused by that maybe there's like a different circumstance maybe it was like a transit problem who knows um, Anyway, we're here, it is, we landed at 10 past 3 or something and uh, yeah, I need to get my luggage and go on this guy bus, so we're not too late, I'm just worried about, you know, getting to my hotel from Southern Cross, but apart from that, we'll get to the G on time, it's just that I make some beforehand, so I want to be there fairly early, so we'll see how it goes, I'm still so tired, <laughs> I've enjoyed this holiday, but I'm very sleepy at the moment and tonight is going to be a short night again so good luck to me good luck to me Southern Cross we meet again it looks better with the F1 store yeah to be honest now they're back in and get a train yeah it's the bathroom and it's like a whole changing room <laughs> it's like you know in the hospital when you got clothes for the ward to have a checkup that's what it looks like except there's a shower instead of a, a stethoscope or something. Well, I hope the Wi-Fi is good at least because <laughs> it's a fairly small room. I'm pretty sure the bathroom is bigger. There's a nice iron there as well. Just milk in the fridge. <laughs> Not using it anyway, but yeah. Actually, yeah, I got water. It's 4.58, so I'll be all right. <laughs> I was rushing a little bit. You know what happened, right? At Southern Cross, I almost like I say almost, I didn't, but a woman got stuck in the lift that I was in, so 
I got in lift seven cross. I pressed uh, the, the top floor because that's where I'm going to the platform. But it didn't stop there. It stopped at the middle floor. But I was like zoned out a little bit. So I got out thinking, oh, this is this is the top floor. And a woman gets in <laughs> and she gets stuck. And I, I go out like where the BWS is and, and Willie's. I go out. I'm just like, oh, there's the escalator. OK, let me just go back in. And she's still there. I'm just like, oh, has she not pressed the button yet? So I press, uh, I, I press a button um, to, to get in and the door doesn't open. And it turns out she was in there and the lift wasn't moving anyway. So the lift broke down right there and then <laughs> so after I got out. I went back and I'm just like, I can't just leave her here. I'm just <laughs> So I, I get the, uh, there's a security guard normally just stands outside the PWX. I'm just like, where else do I go to uh, get help without leaving my suitcase somewhere? So I'm asked, I'm told the security guy, she's stuck in the lift. Um, she finally gets, she, she, she's rung this bell on the lift multiple times. She's finally got an answer. So they're sorting it out now and the security guard's looking out for her. So I'm just like, yep, I'll be on my way. <laughs> Take my suitcase up, my, up the escalator. Um, train, a few stops. I get off on the wrong, on, on the wrong, um, on, on the wrong lift floor again at a different station this one doesn't get stuck then i just look back and i think you know what i can't be asked let me get on the escalators make it harder for myself and then it's a 15 to 20 minute walk to my hotel i'm walking with my suitcase it's a four-wheeler so you can just push it you know it's nice my arms are aching a bit but you know it's nice and easy then it just stops moving i'm just like why does it stop moving i notice there's leaves under one of the wheels i'm just like okay let me just try and get this out of my foot and it's still not moving i'm just like what, what's, what's going on? Ah, there's another wheel that's completely done in. Now, let me show you. So that's the leafy wheel. See these two, all right. All right, but if I turn it around. Ah, oh, fantastic. So I had to push this with one wheel missing <laughs> for about 10 minutes. And it was really hard across the uh, cement floor, across the pavement, just pushing it for 10 minutes. I'm just like, uh, I'm literally sweating here. And uh, I finally get to the hotel. But as soon as I saw the hotel, I'm just like, oh, I'm so glad it's here. <laughs> I can't be asked anymore. But yeah, this is the last hotel before I leave back to London. Got a few more days and uh, it starts tonight with St. Kirby, Collingwood. But yeah, that was a, a very, a, a rather stressful journey compared to what it should have been. Nice and smooth, but at least we're still here nice and early and I can wait a bit and then head off to the MCG by 6 p.m. Also, like, I contacted uh, Malaysian Airlines because their baggage limit is 20 kilograms, right? My baggage is now at 22 <laughs> and my hand baggage is at 6.5. So the limit is 20 plus seven. 22 plus 6.5 does not add up to 27. So I, I went, went on to chat with them, right? And I said like, well, what's the uh, charge for two kilograms overweight limit, right? Online chat, okay? Because for some reason I can't call anyone except in the UK, even though my phone contract allows me to use my phone in Australia no extra charge. I can use 5G, 4G as much as possible. I can just use it non-stop, no extra charges. It's brilliant. And it says you also got calls and texts included. But when I try and call an Australian number, it doesn't work. When I try and call any other number, never any other country, it doesn't work. So I'm just like, what, what do I do then? I want to chat with them. And they said, oh, we want your full name, your email, your itinerary number and your e-ticket number. The last one, I'm just like, what's an e-ticket number? I've never seen that before. I check my old boarding pass, I'm just like, there's no e-ticket number here. What are they on about? So I give them the free booking reference, name, email. That should be enough to let them know what flight I'm on. <laughs> but they said, no, we need the e-ticket number. And I couldn't get it because the only way I can see it was through the app and I was chatting on the app. So I, I, I would have had to close the chat to find the e-ticket number. And then, I, and then nothing happened and it disconnected within like two minutes. Like I didn't even like the guy was typing. The guy was literally he was typing. I was waiting for his reply. He was typing. Chat timed out. So I'm just like, what? So I went to get the e-ticket number. Now I had all the info I needed. Right, second time round. What's the baggage limit for? Literally, all I'm asking is the baggage. Like, what's the charge for two two kilograms extra? Because I checked on the app, and it says you can do five kg extra 
for $180 US dollars, not Australian dollars, US dollars. It's like 180 US dollars. Five kilogram minimum you have to add on the app. I'm just like, are you off your head? So I'm just like, okay, two kilograms extra. Let me just go and chat with them. Let me see. I don't know why they need all that detail just to tell me the charge. Like I, they should know what flight I'm on because I'm, I give them enough detail. I give them the details and she's like, okay, let me check that for you. No reply, no reply. Chat timed out, timed out twice. When I booked Malaysian Airlines, I thought, oh, I hope the flight is safe. It turns out the bigger problem is the customer service. There's a draw under the bed. That's cool. Driving at Richmond today instead of Joy Want. Bro, I can hear the F1 cars driving along. That's mad. And I have a buzz not that far away from like, but it's still a bit of a distance. And you can hear those cars from here, it's crazy. Anyway, here I am. Sorry, <laughs> wrong side of the board. Uh, almost there, almost there. <laughs> Jollymont is where I prefer to get off, but I went down the train station. There was no, the next train was not to Jollymont, it was to Richmond instead. So I'm just like, yeah, I'll just get on that. Why not? Yeah, no one asked me. Just... I don't know if the camera's hearing it, but the F1 car's whizzing by every few minutes. It's nice. <laughs> I love the sound of the cars. Um, not as good as used to sound, but still sound really amazing. Okay, let's get started with the AFL stuff. So, uh, same three Collingwood. I watched the last two Collingwood games. Uh, watched them lose both, which was fantastic. I watched more Collingwood games than my own team. That's pretty unhealthy, but it is what it is. <laughs> I'm here to barrack for the Saints, and hopefully they lose again. This will be the toughest... Uh, it's been the most unlikely one to happen because um, the Giants and the Swans are very good teams. The Saints, I'm still doubtful on. I don't think they're a premiership contender. They could be, but I don't think they are. They played well last week, um, but I feel like they'll probably lose to Collingwood. <laughs> uh, but I hope I'm wrong. I hope the Saints win. And hopefully it's a close game as well. They've got a car thing here. They put a bunch of footies in the back of the car and you've got to guess how many's in there. That's pretty fun. I'll let someone else win it. I, I'd be too good. I just that, that'd be cheating. You, you, you guys know I'm too good at winning things. Museum Gate Three, M55. Guess what row I am, guys? What a view. There's the right end. That's the Saints cheer squad. You've got a much better view than me. I've just showed him my view. <laughs> this Cardi, we met two years ago. We met two years ago. Yeah. I think it was Brisbane St Kilda. Yeah. Yep. Max King. Yeah, Max yeah. King. I think he kicked 0 5. I, I have him to pick 5 today, so yeah. I don't want to jinx it like Sammy did. Yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon you can win today? Hopefully we win, yeah. 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 Oh, I say we because you're still today as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Between a Hawks fan, a Blues fan, and a Crows fan. Hopefully they'll brag for the Saints. At least the Blues will. Um, yeah, so Cardi's up in level four. As, uh, he was messaging me last week saying, uh, do you want to meet up for a game? He, I told him what games I'm at. And, uh, he didn't meet up last week, uh, partly because I was just knackered. <laughs> there was a game we were both at. I was just like, I want to get back. Um, but yeah, we met today and uh, that was great. It's been two years, so it's been a little while. No Sammy G today, where are you? I guess you don't want to jinx Max King again. That's probably why you're not here. Which, uh, is it, that's acceptable, that's acceptable. But yeah, um, look out for Cardi's weekly vlog. I might be in it. Might as well. Call me a Carlson fan, but that's a beautiful Jersey. Guernsey. No long sleeve hair either. Two of them. It's so long bro, like everyone's waiting for tenders and chips and it's like coming like once every 10 minutes so There's like loads of people just waiting, just waiting there I'm just like, why is the queue so slow, so long? People are paying strictly, I'm just like, oh Because 20 people are waiting for the damn tenders and chips I'm just like, screw it man, I just take the pies and go See the Saints eat the pies tonight Let's go
Sports Game presented by AIA. It has been a tradition for the last four years to delay the bounce of the match by two minutes with mental health on the big stage. Please welcome Pete Murray and a very special performance.
pie on my shirt and the pies are spilled theirs as well. That was huge from the Saints, huge, uh, a little bit of a comeback. Pies scored first, then the Saints got their goal. Goal to start with, then the Magpies got two, they looked a bit more in control. The Saints started a bit shaky after that. They came back from that, there was an injury, a big injury. Um, hopefully he's all right, because he was down for a long time. I don't know what was wrong, it might have been a head injury, I don't know for sure. Uh, but it looked serious, it was kind of scary actually, he was down for a long, long time. Um, but he went off, uh, I don't know if he's conscious or not, I didn't see he's on the side of the field, uh, but hopefully he'll be okay, because uh, it looked really bad. Um, but yeah, since that injury, that was actually the turning point kind of, because the Saints smashed it since then, scored multiple goals, one goal was given away kind of, and the Magpies just gave away a stupid free kick. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice lead now for the Saints. It's early quarter time, it's only two goals, long way to go, but so far, so good. If they can keep this up, keep going, they can win this game for sure. Especially the Magpies, off the back of two losses in a row, could, uh, could do a bit for their confidence. The Saints last week, even though they lost, they played pretty well, so uh, they could definitely do something here. So yeah, still a long way to go. The Magpies could still definitely win, but... Um, the Saints can keep this up. If they can keep up the form of the last eight minutes of this quarter, then uh, they've got a really good chance of winning. So, go Saints. Let's go marching on. Good game guys, uh, I think Magpies got the last four goals which is not great for the Saints but very interesting game, uh, the Magpies turned it a bit in the second like, quarter for sure, the Saints are still in it but they look a little bit in trouble, they need to regroup and hopefully come out better second half because at the moment it's the Magpies in control, it may be a small lead but they are in control so hopefully uh, a better second half from the Saints, a bit more like the end of the first quarter would be great otherwise the magpies might run away with it but uh we shall see i think either the saints win a close one or the magpies win by like 25 points i think it's one of the two um but yeah also that um that maya check miss was so funny bro the magpies were on the attack bobby hill had the ball bobby hill he had his back to the goal but he could have scored the goal uh from his position but he decided hey let's pass it back to maya check in a great position Everyone thought he'd scored a goal and he bloody missed it. <laughs> it was so funny. I wish I got that on camera. I wish I got that on camera, but I did not. I got the reaction afterwards, but not the actual goal. Or, or the miss, I mean, sorry. But yeah, it's a good game. No matter who wins, hopefully it stays at this quality because so far it's been entertaining. Um, I just hope the Saints win, but either way, I'm having a good time and I'm um, hoping for a great second half as well.
St. Kilda's quarter, the third quarter is a quarter that where many games are won. Can they hold it? We'll see. But they got a good chance. Uh, they did well. They did really well. <laughs> yeah! But yeah, as, as, as I was saying, uh, the Saints are doing well. Still, it's only 20 points, so a lot can still happen. The magpies can come back. As I said last week, the magpies are like bacteria. They don't stay down. They don't go away. Clean them out. They come back. At, they come back at you. That's that's Collingwood. They keep coming back. So it's definitely over. You know, <laughs> you got to be like 50 points up against them to be for it to be definitely over. But the Saints have got a good chance. They're going, they're going well. Much better in the third quarter than the second. They really, they really got something here. They've hit a few behinds as well. They could have been further ahead. They could have been further ahead. They've done better in the forward 50. So much better going forward in general. In this third quarter, and yeah, they really got. As long as they keep what, keep up what they're doing, they can definitely get enough points in this quarter to uh, make sure the Magpies can't come back. But they need to get those goals. The Magpies scored the first goal of the last quarter, and they start to get on top. Could be a long quarter for the Saints, but. If the same thing, just get a few more goals here and there, it may just be enough. So uh, it's been a good game, I've enjoyed myself. Also got some bad news at half time, personal news, which is quite annoying, but uh, I'm still, this is a good, uh, good way to cheer me up. I'm having a good time and hopefully the Saints win. I, I was at the first Decoding game this season, they lost both of them. I'm at the third one, they're losing. If they lose this, you're welcome. I'm going home next week, so if they win next week, then it's because I'm not here, just so you know. But I don't want to eat my words. I don't want to eat my words, so Saints, don't choke. Hold on, please. Don't make me look like a laughing stock for what I said in just now.
heading towards Richmond Station, please turn right as you exit the MCG. I should have recorded like three seconds earlier. A guy just said, what the F is wrong with this club? He's very angry. There's a guy who swore at my camera. I don't know if you saw it. I don't know if the camera caught it. Uh, I, I got a new song, guys. I had a song last week. It was a great song. I got one. Oh, when the saints be calling words. Oh, when the saints be calling words. Just like the giants and the Sydney swans. Oh, when the saints be calling words. I just walked past a few of them, so I had to be a bit quiet, but I, I think that's a good verse. It, not as creative as the last one, but yes, three in a row, I was at all three. I'm a Collingwood hater, as you guys know. Okay, so this is very enjoyable. I've seen three Collingwood losses. losses. This was the best game out of all of them, because the other two, the Giants and the Swans blew them away in the second half. This was just, you know, the Magpies are still in it in the last quarter, but the Saints did enough. <laughs> the Saints did enough. It was bloody beautiful, my friends. The attendance was 69,000 something. I didn't film it because I was too caught up in the moment. I missed a few moments as well on the cat. I, I didn't miss them myself, but like I missed them through the vlog camera. But uh, that goal from Higgins, um, they played the replay. I didn't catch it on my phone, but they played the replay. And it looked like he was off. <laughs> it looked like he was out of bounds before he kicked it. But let's just assume he was in bounds. What a goal. What a bloody goal that was. That was incredible. Someone near us said Lollingwood. <laughs> that, that's hilarious. And I posted that on YouTube as well. So that, now you know, when I, when I said Lollingwood on YouTube post, I stole that joke. I'm sorry to the fan who I stole it from, but it's too funny. Lollingwood. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Crowd that way towards Jollymont. Oh, what a night. <laughs> what a night. Now get this. Last year's grand finalists, Brisbane and Collingwood, they had a great grand final. Collingwood won by a few points. The best team against the second best team. That's what it was. That's what it was last year. But this year, the Lions lost their first two games. Got a bar around this game. Collingwood lost their first three. So next week, he got a showdown at the Gabba. Brisbane versus Collingwood. Neither team has won a game yet. <laughs> In round, round four. Who would have fought? Who would have bloody fought? Well... <laughs> Don't tell me that's Darth Vader. This is a copyright. This is copyright. I really felt the atmosphere, especially in the last quarter. My word, mate. Every both sides are very vocal. Calling with a bit more negatively, which makes sense. Couldn't get, like only captured maybe like 20% of it. Oh my days! It was electric. I loved the atmosphere, including the negative side. Bloody enjoyed myself, mate. It was crazy. What what a great game as well on top. And yeah, uh, I've had a great time today. I did not expect this game to be that good, but it really was that good. And that one more game, Hawks VDs could end badly for us. Um, and Richmond v Port Adelaide, why am I not at that game? Some of you will know why, some of you don't, but yeah. <laughs> I will be in Melbourne that day though. Uh, but yeah, there's Jolly Mont. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and uh, go Hawks but before that we've got a big vlog tomorrow assuming I don't wake up late because you never know I could sleep oversleep and miss my tour but I'm doing a tour tomorrow that's what I got planned so I didn't miss the tour if you see the vlog tomorrow <laughs> uh, there's, I'm doing a tour down Victoria you can guess what it is but in today's time go Hawks go Hawks but also I've had some bad news uh, I might as well just put it out there because I got it got this news at half time I got news two days ago and then the news today at half time. I was just like, oh, this is deflating. So two days ago, I found out that uh, everyone in my flat block is being moved out. Maybe they found something wrong with it. I don't know. Maybe there's like a dodgy, something dodgy in the building or the construction of it, knocking it down. I don't know. I've, I've not heard why. Mom just said, we got a letter that moving everyone out of the flat. And this is like almost 200 homes. So within a few months, I got, we got to find a new home. And I found out today at half time, this got announced today in morning in England, which is morning right now. The branch I work at, at work, I got a very secure job. All the managers like me and I'm on good terms with everyone. The job is as secure as it could be. Like I'm in a great position. The whole branch is shutting down and the music has stopped as I've said that. Yeah, so, and they're shutting down in July. So within a few months, I got to find a new home that I lived in for 26 years, by the way, and a new job that I've been securing since 2020. This is not good for me. Life problems, just beyond, you know, the enjoyment of holidays. There's more problems than that. And on top of that, like, it's not simply about me. In 200 homes, there's a lot of people like having to move. 
and at work there's hundreds of jobs i work in a big company and the branch is huge um there's hundreds of people in that building and they're all going to lose their jobs in a few months so that's just to find that out at half time through a group chat at work <laughs> i saw in a group chat i'm just like this can't be right i checked my email and there's an email saying we're shutting down in july i'm just like just like that eh and i find this out on holiday i'm going home on monday I'm not gonna let that dampen my holiday. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my time, but when I get home on Monday slash Tuesday, uh, it's gonna be me very stressed out, trying to look for a new job and uh, a new home. And yeah, but I'll enjoy this holiday as best I can, guys. But uh, I thought I'd, I was not gonna mention it, but yeah, it's kind of uh, dampened my mood a bit. But look, that was a great second half. I enjoyed myself. I just, I'm good at, shutting out bad news and just enjoying the moment especially on holiday that's what i'm gonna do for the next few days but when i go home oh my day is gonna be a depressing ride home anyway i'll see you later